I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Origin Eon 17S now. If you think this looks a lot like the last version of this laptop we reviewed, uh, that's because it pretty much looks exactly the same. The big difference is under the hood. This is one of the very first laptops to offer one of Intel's third generation core i-series CPUs, otherwise known by the codename Ivy Bridge. Now, this has one of the fastest Ivy Bridge CPUs. Uh, that's one of the new Core i7 quad core ones, the uh, 3920. 20, and further, Origin even overclocked it from that. Now, of course, the main advantage of the new Ivy Bridge chips is not really the performance or the battery life. They were only incrementally improved over the previous generation. It's in the integrated graphics, the stuff that you use when you're not using your dedicated GPU or if you have a laptop without a dedicated GPU. It used to be called Intel HD 3000. Now it's called Intel HD 4000. The problem is, with a big gaming laptop like this, you're probably never going to use that because you've got an NVIDIA uh, graphics card in there. In this case, it's one of the new ones. It's the, uh, it's the GeForce 675, which is a very powerful card. So in order to actually test the Intel HD 4000 graphics, we did, had to disable that card and run our gaming test. And then, of course, we turned it back on and, and ran the gaming test again. Uh, obviously, with the, with the NVIDIA GPU enabled, uh, it played games fantastically, even at super high resolutions. When we took the graphics card out of the equation and just used the Intel HD 4000 integrated graphics, uh, we actually got some better scores than we expected, at least better than we would have gotten last year, uh, playing games like Metro 2033 and Street Fighter 4, and uh, we played around with Skyrim, and you know, they're all playable. It's not gonna replace your discrete GPU if you're a serious gamer, but if you have, let's say, you know, a smaller, more mainstream, mid-sized laptop, and you just wanna play a little bit of a game here and there, uh, it, it's gonna do better than the same laptop would have done last year. It's getting to the point where you can get away without a GPU if you really need to. On this particular super high-end system, a uh, backlit keyboard, which we didn't have in last year's model, which I really appreciate, uh, the touchpad's still kind of small, and if the whole thing looks sort of generic and boxy, that's because it's not really a custom-made laptop. It's, it's a generic Clevo body that laptop makers buy and customize. In this case, they put a, a custom panel on the back. In fact, Origin has a whole new set of custom back panels that have kind of fins on them and look very sort of Alienware-like. That wasn't ready in time for this review unit, but I see them, they look perfectly nice, although it does kind of fly in the face of the current trend in laptop design towards thinner, smarter, sort of more sophisticated designs rather than big, black, bulky, you know, gamerific designs. However, if you've got, uh, you know, $3,000 or more to throw away on a big gaming laptop, uh, I can't think of anyone who really does it as well or offers as many customization options as Origin. Uh, but if you run right out and get one of these very first ones with the Ivory Bridge CPUs, just remember, you'll probably never take advantage of those better integrated graphics that Intel is offering. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Origin Eon 17S.